I have mentioned before that the real key to the success of Apple's iPod is not really the hardware at all. Now, don't get me wrong, the iPod, very cool. But the real magic is iTunes. And I think Apple TV has the same magic touch. It's the software that makes it really tick. Now, I showed you earlier how to access iTunes from the Apple TV itself, but now I want to show you how it looks from the computer side. Now, I've got iTunes launched here on my Mac, and on the left-hand side of iTunes, we see Apple TV is listed as a device. See, in the world of Apple, one device needs to seamlessly integrate with all the others. So we've got our computer here, we've got our Apple TV connected. Now, if we had an iPod connected, it would appear here in the list as well, and it would all be controlled through iTunes. Now, if you haven't spent any time in iTunes, it's high time that you downloaded it and gave it a try. It's available in both Windows and Mac, and it's free, and it's easily the best media manager that there is out there. Now, I've got, if we take a look on the top of the iTunes bar, I've got my music, I've got access to movies, TV shows, podcasts, and radio. This is all the library that I have stored here within iTunes. And right below that is the iTunes Music Store. I click on that and I go online into the iTunes Music Store where I can purchase music, I can purchase TV shows and movies. If we take a look here, I've actually got a credit. Up here on the top right-hand side is my account and I have $36 or so that I can spend because I use those prepaid $20 cards to make sure I have enough money to buy the music and the videos that I want. Now, in the old days with iTunes, what would typically happen was I would download music and purchase music, and I would then sync it to my iPod, and that's where I would consume most of the music, although I would quite often play it back from the computer itself. But now we've added another variable. We've added the Apple TV into that mix, and so now more media types are available to me, and I can now use iTunes not just for my iPod and music, but I can use it for my Apple TV and all of my video needs. So if I don't want to spend all my time navigating through the interface on Apple TV for downloading my movies and podcasts and that sort of stuff, I can do it through my computer. And then I can just sync it and move all of the content across on to the Apple TV. And that's where this integration that we're talking about really happens. It doesn't matter what device I download it on or what device I want to view it on, I should be able to do it on all of the devices in my collection, in my media collection. So let's go in, let's actually scroll down and take a look at some of the different options we have for downloading. We have here in the iTunes store, we have music, movies, TV shows. And if I go into the movies area, we see it's virtually the same, although slightly different interface, but all of the same titles are available as we looked at earlier in Apple TV and I can, as I say, I can purchase them here or I can download them here and then I can move them over onto the Apple TV later. Let's jump into the device itself and show you some more of the integration. If I click on Apple TV, we're brought into an area that really showcases nicely the integration between iTunes on my Mac and Apple TV. The first thing that I see here is a summary of how syncing happens, of how all of my data is going to move from my Mac over onto my Apple TV, as well as my movies. Now, managing your movies is very important. If you think about that 48-hour period, maybe you've downloaded the movie onto your Apple TV, you want to move it across so you can watch it on your computer, that's where it's all managed here. I don't actually have any movies rented, but this is where it would be managed. Now, the one area that we haven't talked at all about, the one media type is very important to all of us, it's our photos. How do we manage our digital photos? Because the Apple TV is a great place for us to play back all of our digital photos. Now, you can see here, I've got a little slideshow or a little screensaver actually playing of some of my photos. Now, I manage all of my photos in iPhoto, which is one of the iLife applications. And here we start to see the wonderful integration that Apple has in all of their different software and hardware pieces. So within iPhoto, where I manage all of my photos, I have a series of photo albums where all my photos are nicely organized. If we go back into iTunes and look at the sync screen that we were looking at for the Apple TV, we see the exact same albums being listed here. And you can see I've only synced a couple of them. If I want to add more photos to my collection over here on the Apple TV, I just have to select it right here, apply it, and then what happens is it will actually sync the content. We can see at the top it's syncing now. What that means is it's moving the photos from my iPhoto collection here into Apple TV. And as soon as it's done here, it's at 6 of 20, 7 of 20. It's moving very quickly. It's moving all the photos over the wireless network. And this is simple to do. This is very easy to manage. Once it's done, I can then go into my Apple TV. Let's go and jump in. Let's take a look at my photos. 
and you can see that's desk grad photos, which are the ones that I just moved across, are now available to me. So they'll be added to my slideshow or added to my screensaver, and I can also view them now as a slideshow. This integration is amazing. Think about it now. We've gone from two different software applications, a photo application and our iTunes application, and two different pieces of hardware to get the media where we want to consume it, when we want to consume it. Apple TV is different than all other media managers because of the built-in networking that we've just seen and of course because of iTunes. I really need to mention again just how easy this is to set up and use. Having installed many different home theater systems, nothing even comes close to the simplicity of this solution. Want more information on the products that we covered on today's show? Then check out our website. We've got podcasts, streaming video, and a searchable database going all the way back to our first season. Check it out at dottotech.com.